Do you want to learn how to make an Arduino Omega based HMI system using 7 inch TFT LCD touchscreen? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Because in this video tutorial you will learn how to display images on touchscreen 7 inch TFT LCD. In my previous tutorial we created one button and controlled and LED and also displayed the on time of controller in seconds. In that tutorial we covered all the basic functions. So do watch that tutorial. While in today's episode we will cover how to convert an image and then how to display that image on the LCD using draw bitmap function. So let's get started. A draw bitmap function takes six arguments as the input x, y, sx, sy data and scale. x is the x coordinate of the upper left corner of the bitmap. Y is the Y coordinate of the upper left corner of the bitmap. SX is the width of the bitmap in pixels. SY is the height of the bitmap in pixels. Data is the array containing the bitmap data and scale is optional. First of all, make sure that you download the UTFT library then simply copy that folder and paste it into the Arduino's library folder. Let me show you that folder. Open the UTFT folder. As you can see there are different folders. Select the tools folder and open. We will be using image converter 565 to convert our images. I have already selected two images as you can see. Now let's open the image converter. Click on the open image button, select first image and click open. As you can see there is a yellow icon it means that this image cannot be used with current dimensions. So click on the reduce size too and also check the log aspect ratio. Now change the pixel value still this yellow sign is disappeared. So as you can see at 100 the yellow sign is disappeared it means now we are good to go and remember the dimensions as we will be entering these values while setting the width and height of the image. Now click on the save button and make sure you save the file with .c extension. Now repeat the same steps for the second image. So now as you can see two files with .c extension are created. Now first of all open the Arduino IDE. And make two functions white setup. And wide loop function. Now save this program in any folder. Now copy those two files and paste them in the same folder. Now again open the program and this time you can see the two files DSC and images with .c extension are loaded. Now replace the code with this code. Now let's explain the programming. 
This is the program written to display images on 7 inch uh, TFT LCD touchscreen. The purpose of this program is to display two images. If you want, you can display more images. First of all, start by including these two header files. Remember to change the model parameter to suit your display module. Extern unsigned integer DSC underscore 0296, which is the name of the image, and then the array data. I simply copied this from the C file that we created, and similarly for the other one. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are white setup function and white loop function. White setup function executes only one time. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. This function is used to set the orientation to landscape. Then we set the colors using these two instructions. Then starts a wide loop function. My glcd.draw bitmap 10, 10, 100, 150. Then the image name and 4 is the scale. So 10, 10 represents the x and y coordinates of the upper left corner of the image. While 100 and 150 it represents the width and height in pixels. These are the same values which we entered during the picture conversion. My GLCD dot clear screen function. This function is used to clear the screen. Then as you can see there is a delay of one second. Then similarly for the other image. So now that we are done with the programming now first of all compile the program to check for any errors and connect mega with computer or laptop and make sure that the right board and right com port is selected. Now click on the upload button and wait for a while.